you down there. And without Clarissa, actually, I'm gonna stop talking since obviously isn't working. So just come on up and you can help or something. God, this stupid thing. She doesn't sound good, right? She sounds a little off. I don't know her well enough. She's probably at least a little scared. She was freaked out when we ran into her, and we still haven't found her best friend, so... Just... I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about... Wait, second brownie? Run, please tell me this is a joke, okay? This is a joke, right? Mmm, why would this be a joke? I'm not joking. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll... It'll bring me back up. That's... Uh, fine. If that's what it takes to get you through the night, then okay. Great. I don't need it. I just... needed it now. Oh, God. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, sorry I was, like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. It's you been ghosts, Nona. Ghosts are going on. The blackouts, the hallucinations, it's all been ghosts. Ghosts? Really? Yeah. And it would really help if you could just jump to the believing us part. It would save a headache. Oh! Oh, I got it! This is great! This is perfect! I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally! It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah! She has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here. Her house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a Burnout. Okay, Hey, so... Jonas, seriously, back off, okay? Ren's a good bloke. <laughs> thank you. And thank you for taking advantage and saying bloke. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a productive. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Guys, you know there's no television cameras here, right? Take the energy down a notch. Alex, I am not putting my life in his hands. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. The stories I heard about this guy? He's a maniac, okay? He's gonna trash our only legitimate means of getting out of here if you buy into this crap. Legitimate means? What are you even talking about? Guys, stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look. I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. There is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever. I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is going to start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. Just shut up, both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Nona? Wanna come with me? What? Really? I mean, I guess... Why this are you isn't... making me shack up with Why? This is why. Easiest question I've been asked all night. This is a total punt, Alex. Yeah, this no, is it's fine. This will be a good... If you don't want to take sides, don't take sides. But no, nobody's happy with this. Hey, Nona's happy. You're happy, right? 
Um, sure. No hard feelings, right? Good luck with the thing, Alex. No hard feelings, right? I'll see you when you get back, Alex. You know, I do remember you from Mr. Tuttle's class. You sit in the, uh, back, behind Jake. I just forgot. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, hey, it's, it's nothing to be sorry about. I don't talk all that much, so I don't know why you'd remember me. I'm also just, like, never there. It's a loophole where, I don't know if you know this, but if you ditch, you get a detention, and if you don't go to that, you get suspended. But suspensions are like paid vacation, you can just do your work over. So... Wait, if you don't really go to, like, class, what are you doing instead all day? Jenny, the TA, she lets me practice ballet in her studio. So that, really. Oh, and don't tell anyone, but my birthday's in three days, and I'm having a thing, and you're invited. I think Clarissa's out of town, so... Well, happy early birthday! In my family, we celebrate birthdays all week, so you're four days late. You gotta get in the mind state. Thanks. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I brought it up. That's not true. I was thinking about, uh, well, I'm worried about Clarissa, and... Well, I was thinking about my last birthday when... No. Actually, sorry. Never mind. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just in a fog right now. No, come on. I want to hear this. It was last year, your birthday. Go. Just this was when Nicole was in her car accident, and so of course we cancel and go visit her, and I'm not going to pout about that. It's common decency. It's fine. But afterwards, after this totally emotionally draining night, Clarissa still came over and surprised me with this huge cake. And we stayed up and watched all my favorite movies. How, That's how many of sweet, you are there? actually. Anyways, my birthday's in three days, and I just hope she's okay. That's all. We'll find her, Nona. We're not leaving without her. Ugh. Yeah, I know. I, uh, this is, uh, like, odd to say out loud to you, but do you at all have the feeling that we've done this before? Like, I come to the island and almost die. I mean, I uh, like, I know we haven't, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's... I've had, like, goose pimples since we got off the boat, and everything the ghosts have said, and... It's almost like I can... Like, I know what you're gonna say before you say it. I'm not... I won't test you. Okay, I lied. What am I gonna say right now? Well, I... I don't know. This part feels like new or something. All right. Don't worry about it.
So it's the Parks and Facilities Building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yeah, we're we're close. she get up there? What are you doing? Clarissa, where have you been? The last time we saw you jumped out a window. I, I mean, I thought we thought you were dead. Clarissa! What? Alex! Christ, what's wrong with her? Clarissa, can you? Can you hear me? Clarissa, wake up. Fight them off. Take control of yourself. Um, hang in there, baby. Alex, uh, please, can you just... I don't know what you can do, but can you just do something? Please, just try anything. Like, uh, I can... I'll try, okay, I'll try. Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Alex, come on, just please try and get her down. Elise, please, somehow. Clarissa, can you come down? You think you can control me? Clarissa, are you... Are you not possessed right now? Possessed? I am possessed. I am consumed with an unending fury. She was wonderful with her hands. Consumed with... What are you mad at? We're, we've all been... I'm not mad, dear. I'm tired. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she okay, or she's... I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? You scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? Because that didn't look great. Do you remember anything that happened? I remember waiting in Fort Milner and seeing you. That was a while ago. How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? There's been like time disturbances or something, and I think that's what's been teleporting people around. So, and we just had one. Time disturbances? So you're just blank? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Are you... are you controlling this? It's, uh, my turn, if that's what you mean. And you, of all people, should know what my question is gonna be, because I'm not gonna waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and Clarissa, your... please don't draw a chalk line here. Don't make factions, just... We have to stick together if we're gonna make it through this. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She... Why? Why does it have to be my fault? Why does it have to be your fault? Are you kidding no, me? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like It would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa! It doesn't make it my fault! Anyone could have been there, anyone, and then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick! Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough. Clarissa, that's enough. It's too much right now. I can't, I can't- Nona, it was awful, all right? It, it's still awful, and, and I- I don't. Just, Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None. But we came here to do a thing, and that thing is going to get us home. 
So let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you? All the outs in three. Hey, whoa. Man, do you ever do you ever get deja vu? Geez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Uh, I guess you don't remember like anything that just happened, right? Um, to what anything are you referring exactly? Uh, Clarissa being possessed and shrieking at me would probably be the big Kahuna here. I, huh? I sorta can picture Clarissa being like weird or something, but I don't know. It's kind of a blur to be honest. Okay, well, the- yep, this isn't budging. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. I don't get enough breaking down doors in my life, really, so I'm not gonna complain. <sighs> Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Nope. Cool. Carry on. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it, it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says they're wall radios? Wave-assisted lock? Whatever that means. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So they're like ID tags or something. Uh, okay, cool, great. Ooh, wait, wait, here's like a, wait, what is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just wanna, okay, here. To whom, whom it should concern. This island and its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? What? What? What is that? Who? Who's it for? To whom it should concern. It says right here, I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Forces outside our control, like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about let me finish then inside you'll find two wall equipped radios i have commandeered the old cardinal station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area find these beacons and the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island oh scavenger hunt oh, scavenger hunt scavenger hunt <laughs> wait wait to whosoever finds the material, know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself, Margaret Adler. Oh, <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Yeah, we've all had the mechanical unicorn dream, but I think I'm ready just to go home to be totally face up with you. Oh my god, the, the Camaloa was destroyed by friendly fire? We, we've been lied to all this time. Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. The sun is not out. The sun is... I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was gonna be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. 
Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? You're dead. I'm dead. I'm dead? I think she's talking about the- Oh, the, the car? No, they don't- Listen, Mom and Dad know. They don't care. Well, I mean, they cared a little, but they know no, I could- No, 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 just listen to me. You will drown. Not here, but at Horn Lake, back at home. You seem really confident. She seems confident. I'm a little nervous. I would be. Relax, Alex. I'm going to teach you how to swim at the pool in the park. Don't worry about it. What? How? Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring. No, I mean in this time period. Ah, oh, geez. You're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? It's like the worst time. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. Uh, yeah, um, it really is kind of ideal, actually. Yeah, I'm like right about to start sweating, but I'm not. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> okay, I guess. So, uh, <laughs> do you, well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? I'm bad with... Our whole, like, island horror show. Ghosts and possessions and, and none of this is jarring like anything loose. If this is about Ren's movie, I mean, I told him I didn't want to do it. Half the script was an underwear scene, so, you know, no thanks. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I uh, totally understand. And yeah, let's uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Oh, this is kinda... My sister came out a few weeks ago. She was trying to do the Radio Rocks thing or whatever, and she said she thought she heard you on the station. Do you know what that could have been? Or was she... did she just mishear? She heard me? What was I, like, saying? She told me you were saying... ah, oh, what was it? It was something like, Hey, Ren, Nona, can you guys hear me? It's Alex. It was like, hey, if you're out there, we got stranded on Edwards Island. And then you said... You were saying something like, hey, Alex, can you hear me? You were, like, talking to yourself. So, like, did Carly let you sub on the school radio show or something? Like, uh, as a joke? Clarissa, I was... I, I still am trying to get off this island. It's... this isn't real. I was using a radio thingy to try and get help. Okay, this is... Michael warned me about you that you're always playing, like, games. So, I appreciate the initiation good one. It's not a... It's not a prank. I know you're not gonna believe me, but this is like... This might be our way out somehow. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I just thought it was... I just saw you and remembered, so... But, um... Michael, uh... He loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but... He talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and... Yeah, well... I love him, too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to? Six? Only on burrito days. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. Kind of sorry to see you back so soon, to be honest. Oh, really? I'm sure Alex sold you on how I lock her in the basement and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. We talked ex-girlfriends mostly. Well, now I know that's not possible because I don't call them... Actually, I'm just going to stop with that joke, because if I keep going, I'd be due for a little punishment. Yeah, I'm sure. So, 
I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um. No thanks. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I've missed you, man. I, I've just missed you a lot. That's all. Hey, come on. I've missed you too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night. Yeah, sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her. So, thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy-smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, bucko. <laughs> bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Alex? Are you... All right, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird, just flitting around in circles for 10 minutes. I was about to like slap you or scream or something. It's been not fun to watch in light of everything. Nona, I, I just saw... I think I just saw my brother Mike. What? How? Where? Here? Is he... I was... It was like those time jumps we're sometimes having, right? This was... It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Right now? I didn't know Maggie grew up in Maine. Hey, why aren't you at the tower? This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways, are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Oh, thank God. I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was my advice to uh, do the whole thing. How have um, you two been? What am I working with here? How much leering am I going to have to put up with? No, I'm glad we can leave. Let's put it that way. Yeah, don't even tiptoe in the vicinity of a joke right now. I just want to get out of here. Well, if the radio's the thing... It doesn't matter without Clarissa. Do I really have to point out that she's not here? Oh, yeah. Look, we got the way in. Let's just do what we meant to do and check to see if the boat works. But not leave yet, right? Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. Cool. Oh, wow. Neat. <sighs> Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. <laughs> 